and welcome. Thanks for joining us. We've got baseball on the show. It's the New York Yankees and the Toronto Blue Jays. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. About to get started here. And on the hill in this one, Alec Manoa. Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. In now is the Yankees DH, DJ LeMayhew. The designated hitter. DJ LeMayhew. The pitch. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. He'll circle the bases. The Yankees score first. It's 1 0. so much for settling into this game Boog no courtesy first pitch take right there he was ready from the second he stepped into the box got a pitch to hit jumped all over and I tell you what that'll fire up the guys in your dugout and here is Anthony Rizzo that one misses ball one Righty delivers. And that one wrapped foul. The real threats are coming up. Already given up a home run in this inning. He's going to really have to bear down. The 1 1. That one missed. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. 2 and 1 now. That one hammered center field. Kiermaier going back on it. On the warning track. And hauls it in. Here is Aaron Judge. Well, you really couldn't ask for a better guy to be the face of the game of baseball. I mean, this is a guy that is so team first oriented. Doesn't like to talk about himself will always defer and talk about his teammates. Just impressive. And fouled off. Have you ever caught a foul ball as a fan? Only as a broadcaster, not as a fan. You? I haven't been in many games as a fan. Kicks and fires. And Judge spoils that one. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. Well, when you throw the same pitch back to back, that that's how you want to do it. Right Set him up in the strike zone, Giancarlo. then extend a little bit from Damn. there and see if you can get him to chase. Nicely done with the slider right there. Now here's Giancarlo Stanton. Catcher tosses the mask, settles under it. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Another look here at the solo shot leading off the ball game. And the home team down a run. Major League Baseball. Welcome back. And towing the slab, Garrett Cole. Well, Boog, he's the type of guy that you can bet on to give you quality innings most of the time he goes out there. Guy knows how to pitch. He's got good stuff. Sometimes it can be even plus stuff. First time through the order, though, I think that's going to tell us a lot about how he's feeling today and how he's going to settle into this ball game and attacking hitters. And here's the veteran outfielder, George Springer. The wind and the pitch. That's what down and in. And Go another on. ball. I 
Next offering is in for a strike. Two one. Swings through that one. <laughs> Got him swinging for the K. Had him out front for strike three. Well, classic pitch sequencing there to change eye levels for the punch out. That fastball on the pitch before was up. It was very competitive. And that gets you thinking that he might try to climb the ladder. But then the curveball out of that same tunnel just falls off the table and you can't make contact. Bulbachet up to the dish. And there's the strike. That's through there for a strike. Out there on the mound, he's setting the tone early with the fastball, 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard. In the dirt. Over to first. Two up, two down. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. Strike on the outside corner. And that is strike one. Vladimir Guerrero Jr., he's made Dad proud so far in his career. Multiple all-star appearances. A guy who was born in Montreal way back when, 1999, when his dad was playing for the Expos. Yeah, and so much violence with that swing. Exit dives, but it falls. And now it looks like extra bases. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Seeing some good swings from him right now with consecutive extra base hits. Put a really nice balanced swing on it. And when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box. And he'll feel real good about that one. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. Here's the catcher, Alejandro Kirk. And that's in there for strike one. Guerrero at second with two down. Way outside, and that's ball one. Well, here's a chance right here for one of the better hitters on this roster to get him on the board in the first. Thanks to the three-hole hitter extending the inning, good at bat with two outs. Swing and a miss. One and two. There's a ball. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Swing and this one's bounced to the ground. And he grabs it foul. 2-2 on the way. Goes down looking. A lot of adrenaline, we can see it right there, and sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. Back now in Toronto, all set for the start of the inning. Here's the second baseman, Glaber Torres. And he deals. Out towards right center field. And George makes the grab. And there's one away. Now it's Josh Donaldson's turn to hit. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average. But one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. 
Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Now here's Aaron Hicks. First pitch, and he just misses. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup, and I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. Kiermaier puts it away, and there's two down. Isaiah Kiner Falefa up to the plate. The Isaiah Kiner Falefa. Man, this is pretty amazing. This guy is very efficient out there on the mound right now. Just nine pitches in the first. He's got a chance to keep it to single digits again. Who does that? There's a strike. <laughs> on the ground. They take the force out. out, out number three. One left for the Yankees. They lead it one nothing. Ready to go for the last half Leading of the off, inning. And the now game. it's Dalton Varsho. The left fielder. pitch strike one the Hold healthy one cut him. tough pitch at 98 but a really good pass at the ball Aye. next offering is in for a strike Patrick Johnson behind the plate Patty Johnson to some boot, but I'd ask permission first before I called him that does a pretty good job back there occasionally we'll see a couple of sideways looks from players but that kind of comes with the territory right The next pitch misses, and the count one and two. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. Got him. And one away. Yeah, there's no doubt, Boog. Electric stuff from the jump. I mean, there's just no messing around right now. It's still very early, but we could see a pretty impressive outing here if the strikeouts keep coming in the way they are. One thing you have to be aware of, though, is a high strikeout rate might impact the pitch count as the innings roll on. Next offering way off the plate. Outside. And a pitch. That one finds the zone. And now three and one. And he walked him. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Up to the plate, it's Brandon Belt. Brandon Belt, who grew up in Texas, played his college ball at the University of Texas, and then went on to win World Series with the Giants in 2012 and 2014. They called him the captain for a couple of years. Yeah, and I remember Bruce Bochy talking about Brandon Belt when he was just coming up to the big leagues and said he was a left-handed Buster Posey. Next pitch inside, and the count is one and one. With two strikes may see some movement over there at first base try to stay out of a double play here got him foul tip strike three man that slider bearing in on your hands like that it's just so tough that to fight it. off it's kind of like a cutter break. and just can eat you up saw you yeah, off I'll tell you what hitters have nightmares about that pitch perfectly executed out there on the mound with Merrifield up to the plate He swings and fouls one off.
The 0 1. Next one. offering misses down and away. One ball, one strike. Ball oh, two. and the zone doesn't get the call. And it's 2 and 1. And there's the strike. That was absolute gas. Triple digits on the gun. It's just a different experience as a hitter watching that go by. Struck him out swinging. Slider got him for strike three. So it's no runs on no hits, no errors, and one left. We play two full. Yankees one and the Jays nothing. On to the third inning. Here's Jose Trevino. The catcher, number 30. Manoa, a former All Star, 25 years old, a former first round pick back in 2019. The right hander back to work. Just missed. Manoa measures six feet, six inches. He features a four seam fastball, a slider, a sinker, and he works in a changeup. Line and a base hit into right. Up next for the Yankees. Anytime you rip a the line drive the hit. other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Back to the top of the lineup, DJ LeMayhew stepping in now for the Yankees. Got to be careful with a slugger like this because he can turn it into a three run game in the blink of an eye. He's already homered in this one. Next pitch misses outside, and the count even one and one. And the right hander deals, and that one is lifted in the air. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. One away. The batter, the first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. Flied out to center in his first at bat. That misses, and that is ball one. Good eye right there. Last two pitches have been down in the zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play. But in this count, he's going to have to give in, elevate his pitches, and get back into this at bat. Right-hander kicks deals. And a swing and a miss. Kelly just threw that fastball by him, elevated, and if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. And now two and two. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Trevino, the base runner at first with one out. Two now. Gets a piece and stays alive. And a pitch. And now it's filled up. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three hole hitter coming up if he's walked. And there's a base hit into left. But when you see that many pitches in it at bat, your chances of succeeding go up. And right there, we see the result. Aaron Judge at the plate. He's 0 for 1.
And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. One out. Runners at first and second. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Goes to second, safe there. And he'll be safe at first. Everything came together for him. Absolutely hammered that baseball. Very loud coming off the bat. 107 was the exit velocity. And at that speed, it's going to be a great result more often than not. Now the base is loaded. Big opportunity for them to break this game open. And here is Giancarlo Stanton. Puts a bunt down. Tosses to first. There for the out. Runner scores from third. Well, the safety squeeze can be tough to defend, especially with a good runner at third. You can't risk trying to be overly aggressive and make a play at the plate and give up that easy out at first. Here comes Glaber Torres. Hit it well, but flied out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. Base knock here really gives them an opportunity to take control of this ball game. You don't want that other team to think they have a shot, and a knock here would be a big blow. The 0 1. Fouled off. He was late. Two outs, two in scoring position. Gonna count one and two. Next pitch is popped up. Squeezes it, and that will end the inning. They get a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Yankees two, and the Jays nothing. Back here at the ballpark, now it's the veteran outfielder, Kevin Kiermaier. And things could change quickly here with one swing. The wind of the pitch. Popped up left side. He's got it, and there's one down. No, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrated with himself until his next at bat. Here's George Springer. Went down on strikes his first time through. In 2022, Garrett Cole set the Yankees single season strikeout record with 257 punch outs. Pretty amazing mark for that historic franchise. In the dirt, Trevino collects, fires to first, out. Two away now after the drop third strike. Quite the start That's to this game on the mound. Looking Whoa. very dangerous to these hitters. Seven punch outs already. So this lineup hasn't had much success trying to figure him out. I'm impressed with what we're seeing here. Bichette in the box now. No balls and a strike. He's done a great job getting the first two outs. Want to get this number two hitter, get back in the dugout, and face three, four, five next inning. Oh, one down. On a line, base hit. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. So a man aboard. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Ball one, no strikes. Bichette leads off first with two down to the inning. Next pitch misses way outside. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. They say he went. Yeah. 
Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. 2-2 two -two now. That's down and in. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score him. Alejandro Kirk waiting on deck if they extend the inning. Plenty of pop in his bats. Ah, that's strike three and the third out. So we take a break. So no runs here on a base hit. No errors and one left. Three innings complete. It's the Yankees two and the Jays nothing. Back here at Rogers Center, John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Josh Donaldson. And here it comes. Out to short, Bichette. Tosses to first. Oh. Lead off hitter retired in the fourth. Up next for the Yankees, the left fielder, Aaron Hicks. Aaron Hicks at the plate. He's 0 for 1. This is a guy you got to keep an eye on when he digs in. Definitely been known to drop a drag bunt from time to time, and he's pretty good at it, Chris. Yeah, and he creates a, a sense of urgency for the defense because of the speed, because of the ability to put down that bunt. And there's two away. The batter, the shortstop, Isaiah. Next to hit, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. And first offering is fouled off. To third. Chapman over to first in time. That takes care of Connor Falefa. That's the third out. Yanks held in check. They're up to nothing. Bottom of the inning. Now the Leading Toronto four hole hitter, Alejandro Kirk. Cole back to work. There's the strike. Garrett Cole, Chris, a guy who was the first overall pick out of UCLA in 2011, and he's turned into one of the best starters in baseball. Yeah, it's pretty cool how things came full circle for him. Drafted by the Yankees out of high school, didn't sign, as you said, went to UCLA, and now pitching the number one guy in the rotation for New York. Righty to the plate. Fouls one off. Two and two. And he married... Another UCLA player's sister, Brandon Crawford. He's married to Brandon's sister, Amy. Check swing. Tried to hold up. Now an appeal to first. Got him. Larry Bullard rings him up. The left fielder, number 25. And now it's going to be Dalton Varsho. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. Pitch misses inside. One ball, one strike. Left hand hitter waits. And that one almost got him. That misses, and it's three and two. Kicks and deals. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. And the righty deals. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the, the pitch he has man. the most confidence in Matt. right now. Just couldn't Chapman. find the strike zone. And here is Matt Chapman. He reached out a walk his first time. Line drive, could be extra bases. Around second on his way to third. Coming home. He'll score easily, and they trail by one. 
It's a run on the board and picks up an RBI. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. What a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. Now it's the DH, Brandon Bell. He was a strikeout victim his first time. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Chapman, the runner at second with one away. Strike two. Boom, that's cheddar, baby. And now one and two. One ball, two strikes. And down on strikes he goes, and there's two away. Pretty electric Let's stuff see. showing up on the mound Let's right see. now. I mean, in the double-digit strikeouts, he should be able to rack up some more before he's done in this one. And there are not many of these hitters have had much of an answer for what he's offering out there. Now at the plate, Whit Merrifield. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Man on second, two down. Fall off foul. Two outs and one in scoring position. Swings and misses, struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And welcome back. We go to the top of the fifth. Here's the Yankees catcher now, Jose Trevino. Jose Trevino. Here comes a pitch. Going one. You know, these Yankees doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. One thing that really stands out to me is how they've only struck out one time. That's good discipline right there. And on top of it, they're producing more than a hit per inning. That's towards center. Kiermaier brings it in with a nice run and grab. All those numbers mean this now offense is really making the defense work by just yeah. putting the ball into play. Anything can happen at that point. And now it's DJ LeMayhew digging in. He's already homered in this game. Lifted in the air, right center field. Springer drifts towards it. Hauls it in, two away. Now batting, the first baseman, Anthony. Anthony Rizzo digs in now, one for two. Swing and a foul straight back. Two outs. Out towards right center. That's well struck. Kiermaier going back on it. Back some more. And gone. Anthony Rizzo circles the bases. And they add on. It's 3-1. Well, he put a really nice swing on that one, and everything was on time, took a direct path to the ball, excellent extension, and just drove it out of here. Nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that. Two outs, nobody on. Here comes Aaron Judge. Ball and one. that's down it away. Counts one and oh. Judge rips that one. Springer on the move. Pulls it in on the run. 
And that'll do it. Solo homer extends the Yankees' lead. It's now a 3-1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's Kiermaier now. We got the number nine hole hitter right here. Looking to do whatever he can to get on base, turn this lineup over so the best hitters in this lineup have a chance to tie up the ball game or maybe even walk it off. The wind of the pitch. There's a strike. Boog, over 80% of his first pitches are strikes. When you're doing that, you could have a really good day out there on the mound. One and one. Next pitch is outside. Well, these Jays, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches they're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. Got him swinging. No, oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. And that's in for a strike. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone and beyond, and they just keep eating right out of your hand. The pitch. Pull, that's inside. Three one is on the way. There's a strike. Thank you. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Just indecisive in that at bat. He couldn't commit to the slider. Tried to sit in between. Just not able to put the bat on the ball. And next for Toronto, Bo Bichette. He was the big part of the field last time. Nice liner to center. There's a strike. And ball one. You want to be patient here. Try to work a walk if you can. You've got a big power bat behind you in the on-deck circle. And with two outs, one swing can put you right back in this ballgame. Bichette checks his swing. Now it appeal to first. And he went, says Larry Bullard. Just one strike away. Nope. And now That's two and two. It's a good take. And now it's three and two. Pressure mountain right here with the tying run in the on deck circle. He's got to find the strike zone. Three two on the way. Battling here as he fouls it away. And the pitch. And that's ball four. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have no, a very aggressive first secondary base. lead. So a ball down the line or an end of the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. He's got it. Ball game. The Yankees claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense. 3-1 ball game, quick game. We were looking for a little bit more. It seemed at points the offenses were going to break out, but a total of four runs combined. Really good pitching and defense on both sides. Just a couple of key swings making all the difference. And your final 3-1 for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chompy saying so long. Our final lines.